How to be a full-time filmmaker and quit your 9 to 5 job. I get it, you want to quit your job and chase your dreams and travel all over the world. Sorry, but ain't gonna happen. Here's why. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mark Tabalon and I'm a full-time filmmaker and a photographer here in Alberta. So you want to quit your job and be a full-time filmmaker. First of all, is that what you really want? Because running a successful film production company ain't that easy. You're going to need a lot of dedication, time and effort, and even sacrificing your time with your friends, going partying and gatherings in order for you to achieve this. And this is just the reality and unfortunately you can't have them both. If you are up to the task, here is what you're going to do. Number one, of course, buy a camera. Now there are a lot of good cameras in the market, so it doesn't matter which brand you pick. Any cameras from 2018 mostly does 4K resolution anyways. Yes, with so many options, this could get very hard to choose, especially when you have the budget for it. Choose wisely because switching from another brand to a different one could get very expensive and it could damage your business along the way. What I mean by that is, as your company grows, you will need some gears upgrade, like the right lenses, camera body, audio equipment, computer, etc, etc. Remember, this is not just a hobby for you, you are building a business, so be very very careful. I personally use Sony gears because they are very good in low light, especially when we are filming weddings during the reception. But it's up to you to decide. Like I said, it doesn't matter what you pick as long as you stick with it. Nowadays, we are in the world that every year there is new technology being released in the market. So choose one and also <laughs> Don't spend so much time researching or you will never get started. Number two, find your niche. Figure out what you want to do with your camera. Yes, your camera can do both photo and video, but what do you want to be known for? Do you want to be known as a wedding filmmaker or a corporate videographer or making commercial videos or maybe uh, documentary films? It's going to take a lot of hours watching YouTube and learn new skills. So make sure you know exactly what you want to pursue as a filmmaker by finding your niche. I'm not saying that you should just stick to one niche forever. I'm saying that in the beginning of your career, make sure that you master one skill, then you move on to expand that skill by maybe doing other things like, for example, if you are in the wedding industry like me, expand your business like maybe by doing a corporate video or a commercial videos after you've been in the wedding industry for quite some time especially when your main stream of income is coming from filming weddings. Number three, network. I'm sure you're not the only one who wants to be a full-time filmmaker in, in your local area. I'm sure there are at least hundreds of them, if not thousands of them out there, especially when you live in a big city. Ask these people to help you with your journey and in return, help them in their journey as well. By collaborating with projects, you should be able to produce a much better outcome and make your client even happier when they see the result. Or better yet, you can ask them if you can borrow some gears that you need that you don't currently own. This could be beneficial to your success, especially when you don't have the money just lying around somewhere to buy gears. Networking is very helpful in a lot of ways. Number four, mentorship. A lot of people have asked me in the past if I did go to a filmmaking school or my skill is just self-taught. The truth is, I was lucky enough to find a mentor who guided me through this journey. And to be honest with you, without a mentor, it could take me years and years to get to where I am today. Having a mentor is a very crucial to your growth. And trust me on this, you must find a mentor in your local area and she or he will be your bridge to become a full-time filmmaker. People took years and years to learn because they watched countless videos on YouTube and never really experienced anything in the real world. And they never get started because they want this or this or this new camera that just came out 
after just buying a camera a couple of weeks ago. By having a real mentor, she or he could take you out filming and you could see everything happening in action. And you could ask him questions and things that you want to know and get the answer right away. Also, you can enroll in a workshop and meet people in the same skill set level as you are and build a relationship that will benefit you in the future, like sharing information or helping each other's project from time to time. Number five, just start. People nowadays could easily get discouraged, not because they don't have everything to start their business. It's because they think they don't have enough yet to start or it's not a perfect time yet. I'm gonna be brutally honest with you. There is no such a thing as a perfect time. That's just the reality. And if you think you don't have enough yet, you have everything that you need to start. How? To film an entire wedding, you just need one camera, one tripod, and one audio recorder. If you have $1,500 right now, or if you have a credit card, that limit, buy the gears and start filming. And if you can't still afford that much money, Use the camera in your pocket. Almost everyone has it. Yep, I'm talking about your cell phone. So don't be lazy and just do it. Again, your perfect time will never come. It's like waiting for rainbow and unicorn to show up at your front door and everything will be perfect. Number six, keep your current job. I know, we're talking about how to quit your job and be a full-time filmmaker. But unfortunately, and I hate to tell you this, but you can't. During this time of your journey on becoming a full-time filmmaker is very crucial and you have to have a source of income and somehow to pay your bills and rent and the easiest way to do this is to keep your current job, especially when you have a family to feed. If you don't have family, maybe it's okay for you to get hungry, but again, it's very important to keep your current job in order for you to pay your expenses. When you need to travel to do a gig, you will need food and gas and you need money to cover those expenses. You may be thinking, oh Mark, why don't you just charge the client? Yes, you can charge your client to pay for your accommodations. But when you are a beginner and you just want to build your portfolio, People are not willing to pay your money when you don't have a result to show for. Becoming a full-time filmmaker requires hard work and dedication and sacrifices along the way. This is not going to be an easy journey. There are going to be a sleepless nights, doing editings and working hours. Like I said to my other video, you may need to sacrifice your time with your family and friends for a while in order for you to become successful in this business. And yes, this is not just a hobby anymore. This is going to be a business that earns you money so you can have financial freedom and you don't need to work for somebody else in order for you to put food on the table and feed your family. Thank you for watching this video guys. If you find this video helpful, you don't need to subscribe and like my content. Go check out this other YouTuber like Peter McKinnon or Parker Walbeck. They have much better solid information if you want to learn more about filmmaking. I'm doing this video because I just wanted to give back to the community and share what I've learned in my journey as a full-time filmmaker. Until next time guys, peace out.